listeners, thanks for joining in. I'm Debbie Bola, Editorial Director of HRO Today. Our June issue is out, and here's a recap. The global health crisis that is the coronavirus has taught business leaders across the globe many lessons. Some of these are still being realized, but some have already left their mark, and for the better. In our cover story, Clearing After the Storm, several HR leaders indicate that this period may actually usher in a healthier workplace that emphasizes employee well-being, flexibility, agility, and connectedness. Take, for example, Worldwide Express. Kathy Avila, Vice President of HR, says that employee feedback has been key during the last few months. The company's five-question pulse survey measures things like confidence in leadership, the long-term future of the company, and views on engagement initiatives. The results are analyzed and reviewed by a COVID-19 task force of team leaders then addressed to the entire organization in a town hall-style meeting. Tammy Heller, Senior Vice President and CHRO for Prospecta, experienced firsthand how important flexibility and agility are during a time of crisis. She says the company's existing telework and alternative work arrangement policy allowed them to scale their approach rather than building one from scratch. As a result, Heller says that the vast majority of the workforce has been able to support customers while working remotely. And there's plenty more in store. Learn additional outcomes in this month's cover story. As quickly as organizations move their employees to virtual work, they are now planning to open offices once again. Our special section, Reopening the Workplace, features four stories to help aid HR as employees return to the office. Andrew Rawson, Chief Learning Officer of Trailiant, shares a useful COVID-19 reboarding checklist. Here, he recommends six practices to help employees with some of the adjustments they may experience, including a return-to-work plan, increasing communication, and raising awareness for cyber attacks. Find out the others plus OSHA requirements and practices for furloughed employees in this roundup. Technology has certainly shown its strength during the past few months, and it's that time of year when we honor the latest platforms that are both disruptive and innovative with our annual Tectonic Awards. Congratulations goes out to Cronus, B-Swift, Claro, DDI, ADP, Outmatch, and ServiceNow. Be sure to check out the entire issue at hrotoday.com. Until next time, listeners, I'm Debbie Bola.